Hello viewers, welcome to QuickBooks 2016. My name is Charles. We are starting now on module 4 and this is the module where we are going to talk about customers and jobs in QuickBooks. A customer is a business or is a person who buys products or services from from you and a job would be an individual would be an individual activity or work that you do for a customer and you might do or you might be required to do more more than one job for the same customer in other words you may do multiple jobs for one customer or for the same customer but the thing is not every person who is going to be using quickbooks will be able to or will be required to use the job feature because some of you you just have customers and that's okay but i want you to know how all of these works in quickbooks so let's go ahead and flip over to quickbooks and i will start talking i'll start talking to you a little bit about how customers and jobs are set up in quickbooks so we can open our company five so we want now to look at the customer list in the QuickBooks. As we are waiting for the for the company file to log, the customer list in the QuickBooks is actually called the customer center. And there are a few different ways to get to the customer list. You can use the option right here in the flow chart where you can click on customers to go to the customer list you can come here on the flow chart and you click on customers that will take you to the customer list this is the customer list that we are talking about and that is our first option so you can also access your customer list through going to our icon bar we say this is our icon bar we just made it we just decided to put it on the horizontal on the top or below the menu bar you can use the icon bar there is an icon that says customers this is the icon that looks at customers it you are seeing that it it is also taking us to the same same location that we we were so the third the third way we can actually look at our customer list is by looking at our menu and our menu this is now the menu bar we we'll look at the menu bar then we we'll go to we we'll go to customers and then we we'll look at the customer center it will still take us to the same list so those are the three different options that you can take and they take you to the same exact place so if you if you click customers as the first option as we will say it if you if you click customers here on the home screen it will take you to the same screen that we we are looking at right now and that is what we call the customer center so when you're looking at your list when you're looking at your list of customers 
here these are this is the list of our customers there are very many and we are seeing that our customers are listed so these are the customers there are very many as you can see but underneath underneath it we are seeing if you see things that are indebted those are jobs for the customer if this is if the customer let's say let's try to pick one customer who has some figures here you're seeing this maybe you can start from this this is christy and these are the customers these are the jobs that we are this is the customer but underneath the customer we are seeing the different jobs that we are going to be doing for that customer we have a red robot we have this is this is the job that we have for that customer so that's how our list is so the customer the customers are listed in an alphabetical order by last name you're just seeing that they are all listed by their last name and that is and that's not actually automatic in a quickbooks you actually have to set it up that way and that's basically the that's probably the best way to set your customers you set them and they be arranged in an alphabetical order basing on their last name that is the best way so you are seeing last name comma first name so that's the order that we are that we find or that we actually need to to use oh that's the best the that's what i recommend if you if at all you are setting your customer your customers but it's not mandatory that you are supposed to follow that order you may actually decide to choose a different approach of how you are going to be arranging your customer but what is key is to make sure that you are consistent with whichever mode that you are going to use to arrange your customers so that's how we are going to we, we are going to see how we are going to be able to have our customer lists set up so you will notice that you will see the balances of the customers you will see the balances the customer owes owes the owes you over in this column these are the balances here these are the balances these are the balances in other words those are the balances that we are demanding to the customers they haven't cleared us that amount so and we are seeing there is also a last column this side and this is the column for attachments as the last column that we are seeing under the customer center or the customer list we have that attachment and in that column you can actually add any attachment which would maybe it may be maybe a bill that you have received or something that you want to attach to that customer so that you don't have to search for it in your computer you can attach anything here so that you can be able to to see it when you actually need to have a look at it because it will save you more time when you're in quickbooks you can actually check the attachment that you put before looking for that customer maybe from excel and all that so when you're looking down the list this list of customers as you peruse through those lists of customers 
I want you to notice that the that currently you are looking at the at the active customers here. From here, we are seeing that we are now looking at active customers. You can also look at customers that have open balance. So you can look at customers with open balance. You can also change that and you look at all the customers. You can also look at customers with overdue invoices. So, but by default, we are looking at this list is empty. Maybe there is no one, but we currently we are looking at active. That's by default. But I just wanted to show you that you can actually look at all the customers that you have by just a mere changing what that says, depending on what you want to do. So if 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 let's say if let's say you click on all customers, if let's say you try to look at all customers, you will notice that if there were any customers that were inactive you would actually see them in this list because we are seeing all the customers even those that are inactive we can actually see them if they were there we would see them in this same list because we are looking at all all the customers of the of the company but now someone may be wondering what that what that means if someone says i'm just going to be looking at those customers that are inactive what that means an inactive customer is the one that maybe hasn't been maybe your customer or your client in let's say four to five years a person has not been maybe buying from you but he or she has ever bought from your business but he has taken some years without coming back but he or she is your client so what you do you can actually hide those customers that that have taken long to buy from your shop and you hide them from your from your list but that doesn't mean that you have actually deleted them so and if the customer is inactive and they have jobs it will say that are you sure i want to do this because you can actually hide these customers how can you do that when you look at all the these customers you can come on this small x you are seeing here this x here if you click on it and you put it on 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 a given customer you'll find that he, that's what this is what it says because this customer has a job that's why they're asking they're asking you that are you sure you want to make this customer inactive if you want to do that make sure you you know what you want but for now i'm, not, I'm just going to say no because I don't want to to actually do that. So that's what I wanted to show you in that perspective of the customer being hidden or being inactive. Because by making them inactive, it means you are going to be hiding those customers and they will they will not show up in this column here especially when you are looking at active customers you will not be able to see them there even if we just do just we can maybe we take off this and when if we take off this if we take off this and we come here and we look at those active customers you will find that this person is not actually there but when you try to view all the customers they come back so let's remove this ah, i've activated all of those 
customers. So you can deactivate them or you can make them inactive and at the same time you can be able to to activate those customers if at all you want to do that. So if you have a customer you have made inactive and you would like to activate them again then you can also do that as you've seen i've deactivated some and reactivated the, those same customers and we are seeing that those customers they came back to our list